Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to make a room in two-point perspective. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a vertical, uh, horizontal line um, stretching in the upper third of our paper. You should draw this line lightly because you will be erasing it as we go. Next, on that line, put two points or two dots for our vanishing point, VP1 and VP2. Towards the center of your page, please draw a vertical line, no bigger than two or three inches. And at the end of that line, please place a dot. This line is going to be the corner of our room, which will appear in just a moment. In order to make the corner of our room, you are going to line your ruler up with the vanishing point on the right and lightly draw a line intersecting with that bottom dot. Repeat the process, connecting again to the vanishing point intersecting with the upper dot. Draw these lines lightly because you may end up erasing them later. Repeat the process on the other side, drawing a line lightly that connects to the first vanishing point or the vanishing point on the left at both the top and the bottom. At this point you should be seeing your room this is the corner of the room. This is one wall, two walls, ceiling, and four. We will go ahead and start to add more details in the upcoming weeks. Today, we're going to focus on just adding one single piece of furniture, which is a bed. To add a bed, you're going to go ahead and somewhere in this lower area, not too far, draw about an inch or so vertical line. Put a dot at the top and bottom, and you can begin to connect to your vanishing point. Now, for this top line, I want you to, for this bottom line, I want you to go as far as the lower orthogonal or lower converging line. Okay? Slide your ruler up, repeat the process, and this time I want you to go just past that line a little bit. This is going to give us the shape for the back of our bed. Okay? I also want you to take that line a little bit taller. Okay? Now, repeat the process on the other side. Again, start at the bottom because that's going to give you the distance that you need. It will make it easier. Go till you hit the lower orthogonal line. Repeat the process going through that vanishing point. Try and end them so that they are very close and do a vertical line. I'm starting to see a bed shape pop out here, aren't you? Go ahead and do the crisscross lines for the back of your bed. The end of my bed here should go through my vanishing point on the right and it should stop right about at the corner. Same with the other edge of my bed here. Going through the vanishing point now on the left and should stop right at the edge of my bed. This is giving me a pretty good shape for the basic part of my bed. I'm going to go ahead and do one more little measurement here, which is creating the headboard so that I can sleep comfortably. And that's just going to be a line from the little extension here going towards the vanishing point. From here, I can go ahead and thicken up my headboard if I want. I could add legs, on three of the sides, voila. Last step, erase any orthogonals or converging lines that you no longer need. Like so. Next step, we're going to talk about making a door. In order to make a door, we're going to do a 
vertical line over here on the left side. Give yourself a little bit of room. It can be pretty close to the edge. Do a straight vertical line going down to our orthogonal or our converging line. Line that area up. Maybe put a dot there if that helps you with your vanishing point on the right. Do another orthogonal line. And finally, drop another vertical to make the edge. From here, if we wanted to have a shut door, we could go ahead and directly add a dot there to make represent the doorknob. But we're going to open the doors. Our next step is we are going to draw two more orthogonals. First one, start at the bottom. Take it in towards the vanishing point on the left. Repeat the process, going to that same vanishing point in the upper corner. Try and stop them in a pretty even spot. And finally, wherever you like, go ahead and drop a vertical. This is going to give us our illusion of an open door. You can add your doorknob, other details if you wish. One last thing to add in this room today. We're going to go ahead and add a poster or a window. We're going to do that in this upper third here. To do so, you can drop a horizontal line, or excuse me, a vertical line. I keep saying that. Like so. Line up with the vanishing point on the left side. Do the lower line. Repeat for the upper line. Finally, add the back side. Now, two more things to add. If you want to make it look as if it is popping off the wall a little bit, draw another vertical line right over here just to give it some depth like we did with our bed. And you can go ahead and now you can erase any parts of the horizon line that you no longer need, which is, guess what, most of it. Okay, once I've erased most of that line, I can go ahead and add other details. If I wanted to put a picture or a poster of anything I'd like, I can do that on there. I could use orthogonals to create the sheets or mattress on my bed or the comforter. I could add pillows. I could add carpet. Lots of things to go from here. Thank you for following along. Can't wait to see what you create. Have a great rest of the day.